Hi, it's Dr. Paul. Welcome to another session of Ask Your Pediatrician. Our question for today is, does my child have pinworms? Or, asked another way, same questions, similar topic, my child has a very itchy anus and I'm worried about this. Could they have pinworm? Pinworms, by the way, it's a little worm about a half an inch long, the size of a thread, and it looks white. The way you would see these is they come out at night, right out of your child's anus, and they're just sort of waving around, like a little comma that's waving around. Uh, there's a test called the Scotch Tape Test. You get a little piece of tape, and you go in at night, and you just put it across the anus, and then you can look at that under the microscope. You can bring that to the pediatrician if you think you might have found a pinworm. And this is a very treatable illness. Uh, pretty harmless, so you don't need to be panicking about this. And I'll tell you, in my 25 years of pediatrics, I think out of the perhaps over 100, easily over 100 patients who've come in concerned their child had pinworm, I think there were maybe two that were actually pinworm. So what's really going on when your child's itchy all the time and complaining that their bottom hurts? Basically, it's almost always hygiene. Now, think about this is usually your preschool age child or early school years, and when your child is now sort of independent in their toileting, they're using the bathroom, doing number two, having a bowel movement, and how well are they wiping, right? Usually it's not all that great if they're wiping at all. I remember growing up in Africa, we were in the woods, there was no wiping at all, or we were using a leaf or a branch or a corn cob. I mean, clearly we were gonna have some itchiness there due to just plain old irritation and hygiene, right? Well, it's not that different in most parts of the world, even when we have available toilet paper, for example. Our kids may not be wiping, we've got irritation, and this is the cause for the itch. So I think it's worth teaching wiping. Now this may sound a little crazy for a video, but imagine this is toilet paper, and you wipe, you throw it in the toilet, maybe let's teach our children to do it again. If it's a girl, they're wiping front to back, right, or reaching back and pulling to the back. We don't want stool going into the vagina. And then, here's the real trick. When you're done with this wiping, get another piece of toilet paper, get it damp, and wipe with a damp one. Or some families might actually have wipes or damp wipes to do that and then a final wipe with a dry one. This keeps the anal area totally clean, a lot less trouble with hygiene, with irritation, with itchiness and most of the time that's going to solve your problem. You don't want to rush to medication. Every medication has side effects and so I usually try real hard not to just reflexively treat for pinworm every time your child has an itchy bottom. So that's a brief little instruction on the possibility of pinworms and the itchy bottom in your child who probably needs to learn hygiene. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. And remember, I'm your pediatrician.